Hello and welcome to hashtag learning videos. So this is going to be a complete series of AWS best practices and in today's video we are going to talk about uh, using order scaling groups cooldown period. So let's get started. Okay, so now we are here in the AWS console and let's talk about the order scaling groups cooldown period. So basically the auto scaling group cooldown period is a setting that allows you to temporarily suspend the scaling activity in order to allow the newly created EC2 instance some time for it to get configured and start seeing the application traffic. Now let me explain that to you by taking an example. Now let's say you have an application that sits behind the load balancer and the load balancer is connected to the auto scaling group. Let's say the application uh, starts to see a lot of traffic and the latency starts to go high. Now, in order to uh, control the latency, the load balancer triggers a CloudWatch alarm and the CloudWatch alarm tells the auto-scaling group to add a new EC2 instance. Now, the new EC2 instance comes up, gets configured and goes into service and uh, it starts to take the traffic and slowly the load balancer uh, sees that the latency is coming down. Now let's say the time it took for the newly added EC2 instance to come in and the latency to go down is about uh, 300 to 400 seconds. Now you don't want uh, your auto scaling group to add a new instance in this period of time uh, because the uh, application has not yet seen the effect of the previous scaling. So this is where the default cooldown uh, period comes into picture. Basically this setting is uh, telling the auto scaling group to not do any scaling activity uh, for that amount of time so that uh, the previous scaling act activity can take the effect. So now let me show you the demo of how you can go and configure your uh, cooldown period on the auto scaling group. Okay, so to do that uh, in your AWS console, you can search for EC2 and you can navigate to your uh, auto scaling groups page. So in the left hand side, you can see the auto scaling group here. You can select that. And once the page is here, you can select the auto scaling group that you want to configure. And you can see here are the, ref the settings that you can change. So here uh, you can see the default cooldown period is set to 300. Now the 300 uh, value is the default value that AWS puts on the uh, auto scaling groups, uh, but you can change that to any number that you want. Okay, so to update this value, all you gotta do is uh, hit edit and uh, change this value to uh, whatever your application sees fit. So uh, I really hope that this tip uh, will help you uh, to keep your auto scaling group uh, in control and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. For more interesting videos and updates, please subscribe to our channel, hashtag learnings, and also do check out our courses on Udemy. All links are in the description below. Thank you.